folks and welcome to the front of the land yacht. Um, so what have we got in store today? Well, what I started doing today, and I just kind of had a little bit of a play around with it, and it kind of worked out for me, uh, is we have our Chidemo charging socket installed uh, in the front of the yacht. My recent uh, trip to the US and to EVTV uh, and Jack kind of impressed upon me the merits of kind of getting uh, some traction on this uh, fast charging system using the JLD5005 and the Yazaki inlet uh, that I had already purchased. So what I elected to do was to at least temporarily fit this socket to the land yacht because this car actually drives uh, on a a daily basis and when I get the pans are going I can either take this guy out or what I'll probably do is uh, just pick up another socket from Jack for that car so obviously how we fit this is very important I've seen some so-called professional conversions where they've put these uh, sockets under the bonnet of the, of the car and you have to drive up to the thing, open the bonnet and plug into it. And I've always found that rather stupid. Uh, the weather in this country, nine times out of ten, it's raining. So the last thing that I would want is to be pulled up um, to a fast charging station with the bonnet of the car So I took a kind of a page out of the book that I'd planned to do with uh, Panzer and I did it a little bit more crudely here. So I made up some brackets and I installed the fast charging socket right in here uh, behind the left hand kidney grill. And what I did was I took a little piece of rubber sheet that I I made a little kind of a fold down flap there and the purpose of that is really to hide the socket and so forth but also when the car is driving we're going to have 60 and 70 miles an hour wind and rain getting blasted in here now on this side I actually want that because the cooling radiator for the controller is right in here but on this side uh, that would be undesirable so this means that I can drive the car right up to the fast char fast charging point. I don't have to to open bonnets or mess about. I can simply hop out, pull up this little uh, flap, and my socket is right there. Just trip the door the door uh, back, plug my charging uh, plug in, let, just let the flap sit down on it. Go ahead, do whatever I'm planning to do come back, plug out, close my door and then just uh, just kind of tuck that bit of sheeting back in there and I'm good to go. Now fair enough it's a rather crude fix but uh, what would be nice to do would be to have it it'd be to uh, get another one of these grills and rig up a kind of a hinging system where I could either hinge this back up or hinge it or hinge it to the side possibly but that's kind of an aside to getting the uh, fast charging systems running so I'll just pop the bonnet and give you guys a bit of a close up on just some of the bracketry and stuff and uh, tell you what I'm planning to do so to speak so stay with us all right folks Go visit the gas station. Absolutely no idea if this is going to work or not.
Not a bad day, the wind. It rained so far, it's just not as good news. anything uh, I want to actually make sure that I can plug in a fast charger Acceleration of an electric. Not much of a way out there. 
tires, you actually have to feel like weight in the rail. There's the air, folks. Yay, we're in local. Fast charger's free. Out the pistol grip, but I think we'll be okay. You know that? I'm not even going to switch off the car, just going to go see if this thing will fit. Socket open. Oh, this thing is big. I'm not gonna go in there. It's in. We're engaged. I'll be damned. Press to start charge. Well, I won't be doing that just yet. There you have it. The land yacht is ready to roll. Alright, so here's a slightly better view of things. Um, this is just our uh, our kind of flap that just covers up our fast charging port. So when we pull that up, obviously we have our uh, fast charging port in there. There's our door, etc. And in the back here, it's all very straightforward. Uh, it's just a couple of metal brackets, nothing particularly uh, out of the ordinary. So I didn't bother subjecting you guys to the usual uh, thing of me just drilling and cutting bits of metal. I've all uh, seen probably way too much of that. We've just got our cable harness here, not doing anything in uh, particular at the minute, it's just basically sitting there. So what we'll be doing is I'm going to pick up another one of these plastic boxes, the exact same size, and mount it up on top of this guy. And we'll bring our power and data, ca and, uh, data cables into it. Rig up what we need to do, contactors, fuses, relays, all that sort of thing. And I can mount the JLD505 on any of the bulkheads in there. Get everything hooked up and uh, run a USB line inside the car. And we should be able to uh, start working out this, the software for this thing. So stay with us folks, more fast charging to come.